Now this is an interesting piece of electronics. This is a sound recording device and I bought it off an online auction site for just a few pounds. It came from China, this particular one. And what it has is a recording microphone and when you plug the speaker in that it comes with and connect it to a three bolt power supply and that goes on VCC and ground, GND and VCC. Once you press the red record button and then speak into the microphone then release the button, it will record that. You play it back then using the play E button. And you can, if you want to, on a couple of these connections at the back, you can just short them out with something and that will play the sound as well, which means you could connect two of those up, the correct two, to another switch and extend that switch and switch it on and off somewhere else. So I've recorded a dinosaur sound and I can play it back using the play button. Be careful not to press the red button or you'll wipe over what you've recorded. Here it is. Now it's not particularly loud but if I put a tube over it, a cardboard tube, That makes it significantly louder. What I'm planning to do now is build it into some insulation foam board. This is 15 millimeters thick. Be careful when using knives, of course. And one thing I did realise is that you mustn't put this on there with the batteries connected because these connections on the back will short out through the metal backing on the insulation foam board. You get a short circuit, it wipes over the recording and you can smell a sort of burning smell. Thankfully, it still operates. It's a different sound now, so I've got to re-record it. Hmm, that's and learn. Now as I'm pushing this in, I've unplugged one of the batteries so I don't actually touch any of the buttons and re-record what I've put in. Obviously that wouldn't be a good thing. Tuck all of those wires carefully down there. And I may put a bit of tape over some of it just to hold it in position that can sit in there and the nice thing is this is all push fit stuff now just need to tidy these wires up a little and then I can put something over there Stuck a couple of pieces of gaffer tape onto that and I'll put something here too. I think I'm going to put a little piece of cardboard in there just to hold that. And that holds the batteries nicely in place yet it's easy enough to get out to replace the batteries. There's not a lot of use having a switch in there play E that I need to press each time I want to play the sound. So on the back of that switch I've soldered two wires. They're coming out the side here. And one day they go to a switch. When I touch them of course it's like a switch operating and it plays the sound.